My name's Ross Campbell, and most of you know I'm the District Councillor for the Murunui Ward, which takes in Tokamaru, Shannon, uh, Opiki, Makarua, Buckley, and Bangori, and this lovely <coughs> part of the district, the Murunui. I got a few things that concern me uh, when I'm at council. One of them is this. We get a lot of information at council. We get information from the NZTA, you know, that's the roading people. We get government departments telling us all sorts of statistics and things and what they like me to do and what they want to do. We get a lot of information from statistics, of course. We get market trends. We get inquiries from overseas investments. Uh, we get information from regional councils, health boards, and, and so it goes on. There's, there's a lot of information coming in. This information is meant to be used in briefings to councillors to help them in their decisions and planning the district and which way we want to go, if we want to go forward or we want to go sideways or whatever the case might be. And so we use this information to help us make decisions. But this concern is, is something that I want to bring to you. It's not always the case. Our Mayor, <coughs> some of you might not know this, our Mayor has formed a group of his closest business associates. They're the people that he, he mixes with. And together with these associates, there are developers, there are retailers, there are manufacturers, there's contractors, who have been selected by him. They've formed themselves into what we call an economic development committee. <clears throat> That's what the council calls it, but I actually call it an economic advantage committee over their competitors. You see, all the information that we receive is passed on to this committee who are, who are not elected people. They've not been elected to be there by you. Who maybe are even your closest competitor in your business. And these people get an unfair advantage over their closest rivals, and that rival could be you. Because of all this information coming in, they know where the trends are, they know where the direction that council's thinking of. They are privy to information that gives them an advantage over others, especially at this time when we councillors are told often to be quiet about the different possibilities that may happen. These business associates of the Mayor actually came to our table at council the other night and addressed us and advised us to vote for the policies that would benefit them. What is that? To me that's insider trading. I call it that, but you may call it something different. But I'm not allowed. This handful of business associates that our Mayor has selected are receiving an advantage over their competitors. And it's just not right. These folks have not been elected by you. They've never sworn allegiance to the district and are being rewarded for their faithfulness to the mayor. Go figure what, what do you think? Just last week a decision was made to announce to the retailers in the VIN as to where the road of national significance was going. But we wouldn't announce it till February 2017 as it was told to us by the Mayor, we shouldn't announce it before the election, as the Mayor, because of this, could get skinned alive. So just whose interests are we looking after? Folks, we must get out there and vote, and elect those you trust, not those who are there to furnish the Mayor's ego, and their own business pockets. That is one of my concerns. And over the next few weeks, 
I'm going to share some of the other concerns I had. They are concerns that I believe you need to know about. That we haven't got a council that's working directly for you. We've got a council that is working for the few. Uh, 